Hello guys, we're getting straight to the fucking point. So pretty much this tier list is based on where do video game villains rank at. I understand that I um I don't have everyone here, but I got some pretty strong outliners about where people fit at. So yeah, uh let's hop into it. Oh also you may see that I have two reptiles. I might have to. I'm not sure, but pretty much this reptile is original lore reptile, right? He was actually perceived to be stronger than Shang Tsung. Uh, from what I understand, Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 1 movie goes in hand to hand, I guess. And on that movie, reptile beat the shit out of Liu Kang <laughs> any fucking way. But I don't care. This is my tier list. Also, I want something I must say. Uh, seeing as though I have done the research and I can't prove if the Udon comics are, are non-canon or not. I mean, yeah, you can go on forums and people say it's non-canon, but then Capcom itself says it's canon-ish, I guess. So, and on the Udon comics, it shows Gil grabbing, hold up. Okay, here's some scans, right? Now, some say this is non-canon, but Capcom is saying something different. So you see Gil with low difficulty, with or damnly no effort, yoking evil, evil Ryu up and freezing him. Then you got him. He one-shotted only with ice. It didn't hold him that long, but it still froze him. And he shot him with an ice beam. Some, a very powerful ice beam and really with a heat beam and they were reverted back to normal so I don't know what the fuck is canon however this is very impressive let's move on so pretty much I'm pitting my gatekeepers right so let's uh oh by the way if you notice one punch man curtain is in there they're gonna be the bonus <laughs> They're going to be the bonus characters, all right? So let's get God Shang Tsung that absorbed two Elder Gods, Shao Kahn, Sindel, and I think he took um, Kung Lao, So Katana, and Lord knows how many fucking other, and Nightwolf people. Like, he's no fucking slouch. Uh, let's do this ultimate. Ultimate tier, right? So... Uh, let's get these tiers done. The reason why I'm not giving certain characters their own tier because they're really not that hype. When you base their feats on paper, right? And we're going by lore. Lore about what these characters can do, right? Yes, some may argue Zangief is not a villain, but me growing up, I always seen him as a bad guy. That's because I'm bad guy. That we the bad guy. You know, he was literally in Wreck-It Ralph. Like, so this card is the algamation of Rugu, Rugu and uh, Akuma fusing as one. Any fucking way. Uh, let's see above Akuma. Okay, where's base Akuma? Come on. Trust, trust me. The gap. If that's Udon Akuma, then, uh, shit, um, let's do this, she can do tears, above, Ultimate, uh, Ultra, fuck it, we'll just do Ultra, Ultra Tina, fuck it, um, certain things are subjected to change, however, uh, this is, also, my second time recording this was the first time no audio came in. No fucking audio came in. So, let's hop in it. Uh, where the fuck is Goro, ugly ass? Uh, let's, there we go. Goro. Uh, I want to pick Mr. Karate as a world warrior. Not necessarily a uh, Goro tear because beating Goro tear means you can win the first Mortal Kombat, right? Also, um,. I don't think. Oh, okay. Old Shang Tsung is above him. Feet. 
that's a difficult thing. But then, if they fought, Shang Tsung would work his big goofy ass. Okay, so something else I have to point out about Goro. Goro isn't as as impressive as you think. Out like when you take Goro outside of Mortal Kombat, and you got people with like hyper speed, supersonic, uh, people like Kyo Kusanagi, Terry Bogart, and them would wipe the fucking floor with Goro. Uh, yeah, Death Battle got it right that people like Zangief and them cannot beat him, but then. When you touch feats, did you know Balrog? If if we go on versus battle wiki, Balrog has more feats than a lot of other Street Fighter characters. So he 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 is in fact in Goro tier. Be believe it or not, go. <sighs> Hold on, I will show you guys. All right, guys, moving on. Goro highest feats. He's a martial arts. He's not a master. Skilled in close combat. But we never seen that skill. We just seen him burn, burn, burn. You know, doing the movie media, the video games. We didn't really see no art. If you played, I think, Mortal Kombat X and maybe Deception are like the only versions of Goro with actual somewhat kind of combos and Armageddon. And, he, and I'm going to be real. He's not that impressive. He's not. Attack potency, small building for Cyber Sub Zero, but he didn't win. Small scale shock waves, yada yada yada. Small building class, all right. What about wrong? Look at all of this air manipulation, gust of wind from his punches. I believe he killed a fucking elephant with one. He killed one of Dalcium fucking elephants with one punch. Small building. Wait, 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 wait. You can see small building attack potency. Yep. Because they're called street fighters, right? Equal and fitting with Vagant can evenly evenly fight with Zangief. Uh based Nakali. Yada yada yada. Super human travel speed. Should be if not faster than Dan Hu Bicky, who is consistent with creators little physically. The Subsonic short burst combats. Yeah, his punches are super fucking. You keep up with fast opponents like Vega and Chun Li. The speed punches are compared to Dudley's and able to. Jesus Christ. Stronger than compared. Damn. He's stronger than them. And he can jump higher. Striking class. Powerful hitter. Made Zanky stagger with a punch. Small buildings. Ineffective to him, so you know, based on that alone, like you know, tier wise. But let's look at Zangief real quick so I can just get these three fighter characters out the fucking way. Zangetsu, he's not like Bleach or something. 9A small building, also travel speed. Durability. Wolf stood a powerful punch from Balrog and shattered Suzuki's katana without taking damage. Now Goro would have got fucking stabbed. Cause we've seen Mortal Kombat Curtis get stabbed. So no, like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying he's stronger than Goro, but I'm saying he's in that tier. He's in that tier. I'm sorry. It's caught in a tornado and violently hurled to hit ground first without flinching. Who could with the superhuman stamina? Left Russia on foot in a blizzard, made it in time. Intelligence above average. Goro's not that fucking smart. Smart as a. Jesus Christ. Powers and abilities. Any fucking way let's go back so you know i would pit zangief above balrog in a sense and i would pit based on vega speed where the fuck is vega come on come on come on oh there we go i would pit his speed i would probably scale him higher than that but yeah um 
we're gonna come back so right now we're getting the lower tiers right for example i i believe mr big is great he's not a world warrior tier but he's great there's a reason why he, they uh fucking black fuck um what's the fucking word i'm looking for um not brainwash they uh kidnapped his kids you know um yuri and shit Birdie, is he a great, there's nothing saying that he's a great fighter. He, he, this is that he may not beat Mr. Big. I know Bruce is a great fighter. I'm pretty sure he would fuck Mr. Big up. Hell, I'm, I, I'm, I might even put him in World War II. Baraka, he's fucking garbage, my guy. But he's higher. He's more than a fighter. He, I mean, I guess he's great. Now, just because it down here, uh, oh, oh, okay. So let me explain. Just because a character is in fighter, and I want to say under Goro does not mean they're weak, right? It doesn't mean that. Uh, however, however, these are like the realistic tears, right? Because. I guess a UFC fighter would probably would be between fighter and great fighter. In order to be a world warrior, there has to be something fucking special about you. It has to be something special about you, right? So, moving on. Ooh, shit, I may be sick and squish one of my balls. Uh, I know Hyper Akuma. Shin Akuma is not canon. But I like him, so yeah. Um, an elite warrior would be. Let me give it to my man, Chrysler. Yeah. An elite warrior also would be Reiko. These guys are elite. Um, I do want to put another tier, but I guess it's okay. I guess the uh, the fucking gap. Oh, hold up. So. Uh, where's that bum ass reptile? Uh, okay, Kano is not good, but I got him killing Birdie. I, 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 I do. Uh, we're gonna hit to these what do you call that? Matter of fact, let me organize <laughs> these. Yo, I'm telling you, these Mortal Kombat people are not as impressive as you actually think. Yeah, they're strong in their own right. But then, you know, you got people like Belrog that can rip you in half to. Zangief can rip you in half to. You know, I want to say World Warrior and Up people can rip you fucking in half. Also. So, what are we really saying? You feel me? Um, what are we like? Come on now. No. Uh... What the f uh let's see, let's see, let's see. Ultra tier would be my boy. Okay, so I don't feel like going through his panel, but smoke is super fucking impressive. Um believe it or not, right? He 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 he's he's very impressive. First we're gonna organize these tiers first. Uh Scorpion goes to lead. He's not on Akuma's level. Trust me, Akuma is a real good fucking gatekeeper. Seth is fucking garbage. He lost to damn Lee everybody. Um, can he beat Goro? I don't know. Because he he lost to Jury, Ryu, I think Ken, Bison. G God damn, you fucking suck. Damn. Now, the thing is with Bison and Akuma... Akuma likes to sneak people with that uh, destroy your spirit type shit. So let's uh, base. But then again, we show him only. Then again, the power gap isn't really that far. So yeah. Oh, let's get on my man Geese Howard. So Geese Howard, when you compare him to Street Fighter Curtis when it comes to feats and everything like that, 
he's okay. And I want to say he's probably above Goro in a sense. But he probably wouldn't beat Shang Tsung. Nope. He, he, I'm, I, I hate to say it, but Krauser is stronger than him. So I got Krauser beating everyone underneath here. Everyone underneath here. Um, Krauser is objectively stronger than Geese. He's his older brother, I believe, and he beat him as a kid. And I think in the ultimate match or whatever, and Krauser was the leader. Of the, I can't remember, but, uh, Jax is not that good. Uh, I want to say he's probably at Goro tier at best. Evil Jax. Um, Kentaro's not. He's not on Goro's level. I want to say he's probably a mild gatekeeper at World Warrior. Uh, Belrog would knock his bitch ass out. So, so would Zangief. What? Oh, okay. Um, moving up. <laughs> We're gonna start scaling some these jack thingies are very strong, but I got a lot of Street Fighter characters beating them. But however, they're also gatekeepers in their own fucking tier. Uh matter of fact, I wanna do Jack tier. Because it's 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 only fair. I I, th I think that's Jack six or Jack seven, I don't really know. But I know a lot of regular humans and, and, and fighters and shit can't beat Jackbots for some fucking reason. But then you got people like Heiachi one shotting the fuck out from things and yeah. So if we uh Okay. Lore Reptile, um he's not that good at all. I don't got him beating a Jackbot at all. Or Bruce. He's just fucking sorry. But then we get him, which is his bodyguard. I want to put Original Reptile up here. Uh, I think a comic, he can do the spare too and all of that. Uh, then we get Bihan. He's literally beating gods. And he beat Scorpion three times. And Scorpion beat him once. I want to, based on paper, he's probably above smoke per se. But yeah. Um, then we go... Oh, I want to put Doc Raiden there. Nah. Yeah. So. Uh, resurrected Shang Tsung from out of Chronicles basement. Can he beat Shang Tsung? No, he can't beat Doc Raiden, but I'll put him behind Reiko. Okay, so. I've been telling people, like, Reiko is nothing to fuck with. He's nothing to fuck with. Like,. You know what? Let me get this out of the way. Uh, Krauser. I want to pick him up. Right there. I believe he can fight. You guys got to remember when it comes to King of Fighters, people get banked. <clears throat> There's a lot of uh one on threes and shit. I wanna pick going tanks. He's still not enough to fight him per se. I believe. Let me get the Haku. So one thing you're gonna notice these areas are gonna be very crowded. Cause I don't got a Jack Six bot beating go uh, you know what? Maybe he don't deserve his own tier. Um, yeah. Let's put that bot uh, behind Seth. I know... G uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, Brian. Hold up. Okay. Based on everything I've seen from Brian being technical... Explosion, the helicopter shit, and all of that. I don't think he can beat Akuma because he wouldn't. Because he just doesn't have the skill. But the raw fucking power this man got, he's a little up there. Um, I would go on his fourth to pick Rayco above him. I'm pick him. The dark rating above Crescent. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, so let's talk about Shinnok. So, by the way, guys, I'm a real big Mortal Kombat buff, and I follow all the channels and shit also. So, the first timeline, there was nothing really special about Shinnok, other than his, maybe than his magical abilities and his c cunningness, right? You, um, so, Luke Kang, in the first timeline, beat him with pure skill, right? However, Shinnok is not known for brute strength. Or anything like that. He's known for having advanced magical abilities. I'll go ahead and say he's in as a warrior, he's elite. And he's above Raiden. In a sense. But he's not nowhere on paper. Doesn't even fucking imply he can goes above Akuma's base form. I'm 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 sorry. And and, and if Luke King it's implied that he lost to several people. See <laughs> these niggas really be garbage, bro. Like bro, bro these niggas I believe Rugal can beat Scorpion. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pin him above smoke. And nah, he might be better than Shang Tsung too. Uh, it might be over top of Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the reason why I got two Shang Tsungs, this is the Shang Tsung that came back to fight Chronicle, right? Um, did we get the mighty Bison? Uh, I got Bison beaten. Um, I got Bison beating Rayco. But losing to Shinnok, I got him beating everyone down here. Everyone. Okay, so. Scorpion. Okay. You, you know what? I will pick Scorpion behind. And I'll pick Behan above that Shang Tsung. Um, okay, so with Motaro, it's, it's implied he's a better. You know what? Fuck it. I'm 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 not going into the lore or anything like that. I just want to say he's probably better than Goro, but not by much. <sighs> Even though his skin is immune to projectiles and shit, and he, I I don't think he's as strong, he's physically strong as Goro, but I believe he's probably smarter. Uh, Melina, I got her fucking Goro up to, but. Uh, let me see. Melina does not go above Scorpion, but I. <sighs> okay, so since she's comparable to Katana, and they say Katana can beat Shang Tsung, Shang Tsung they're talking about is this old man. Let's get that fucking straight. They're talking about him and decrepit Shang Tsung. Alochi Sama. I'll put Alochi Sama right here. Wait, he might be up in the Gale League because it took three of them to beat him. Uh, old Cryptier. Uh No, because if I got to use Oud on him, then I can. Let me see. He's a step below. Now is it kind of making sense to you guys a little bit because let's say if all these guys were in one game, Raiden would struck. Wait, can I say Akuma? I think they could fight him a, a, a little bit because I know Raiden. I know Raiden is better than Bison. I know that. Yeah, fuck yeah. He gotta be because Raiden beat all of them. Because uh, like he beat all the fresh revenants on MK9, and he beat Quan Chi. And Quan Chi is very dangerous, but then again, some of his, his magic and shit don't work on him. Uh, now y'all see where these Mortal Kombat people are falling short. Like, okay, Ultimate Rule Rule. Let's get this one straight. I believe he's there. Or if he's not here, he's here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, he, 
If they fought, he would be stronger, but not by much. I will give him this at best. Um, we're going to get into the heavies. Mukai, let me see. Based on KOF lore, he's iron and stone. Iron and stone. Iron and stone. Iron and stone. Other guys, wind. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Mukai is the thing, so he might be above these guys right here. I'm not really sure if he can fight Akuma per se, or is he in that fucking league? Orochi, I, I really, I really don't like, you know, other uh, uh, than gameplay. Hold on, hold up. Let me see something. All right, let's see. Low seven B, small city club. Uh, below by Gaia. Let me see. Organic crush, ele elemental, depending on how you interpret it. Follow up the same thing, give it planetary level. I have never seen none of that in the game. Able to pass the only to the area. Regeneration of the mid with gash and skin. So, the hill and monster with new stars and more time. Say he's stronger than Golden, one of his many servants, likely higher despite being a strong. By which he so he can be defeated by hands right so there's nothing saying that he can't be beat to death because he's still using the human vessel right uh, notable attacks, let me see. I'll pit him. Oh, that's fucking cool. I'll pit him. Here, um, based on like uh, I understand Kyo, the woman in Iori or sacred treasures and all, but they basically fought him at once, and he's saying they didn't beat him; they sailed him, right? And they obviously inflicted damage, and he's using a human vessel, which means the nigga was punched in his face and shit. And when you play with him, he really doesn't have any real martial arts, so I don't think. The power alone, I would pick him above them, but I don't got him beating Gil. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry who the fuck that offends, but like, it's just not giving that. Uh, Iori is no fucking joke. He's fucking serious. I believe he can fight Bison, but probably can't beat him by himself, right? Um, with a team, he scales higher, but. Can he beat Brian, per se? Let me think about that, because, yeah. Uh, let me see, the Keo clone can go above him. I know he can beat that clone. Let me get to my man, Ignatz, which I don't think, yeah, uh, the seat. Who the fuck is it? Yeah, because he has that suit. He's getting blocked. Hold on, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Enough. Um. Uh. Let me see. Evil Ryu from Alpha 3. I don't got him being that good, but I'll pin him between right here. Because he's nothing to fuck with. He's, he cannot be Bison, uh, but however, I'll pit him to the Rayco. See, it's hard to get Mortal Kombat characters past that point. Uh, let's get Shao Kahn. 
DC based on feats. I don't got Shao Kahn beat Akuma. Fuck with Death Battle say because if 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 Akuma so that means Akuma can't beat Liu Kang then, right? So that's bullshit. I put him above them too to a certain extent. Uh, because Shao Kahn would have fucked Johnny Cage up. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, going to. I'll pick him right here. He might be. He, he, uh, 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 let me see. Can he beat Raiden? Nah, I don't got him beating Raiden, but. Um, don't worry, he's one punch man. Devil Jin, and I read his versus battle wiki. He's a little up here. He's a little fucking OP as fuck. Base Jin is no fucking pussy. I'm just gonna keep it real with you niggas. Uh, he actually is gonna bring the elite warrior. He, he's not necessarily where Akuma is at, but Jin Kazama can. He's better than Ray. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, when you go and look at like these fucking Tekken characters, man, they're up here. Like these niggas can do what Liu Kang do. So I'm sorry. They would be con. I'm, 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 I'm sorry for anyone that like. I'm, I'm sorry, but then we scale up here, and these niggas can blow up entire fucking buildings and shit. Uh, I want to see the strongest is the Devil Jim. I'll put Devil Kazuya over top of them. Maybe here, but there's still nowhere near Gil because Gil got that light shit and all that. Oh, we got to touch on the Revenants. Okay, so if we remove Turbo Writing, we can't didn't lose any of his skill, but he lost to Cassie Cage. Cassie Cage did a plot armor. Let me see. Revenant Liu Kang is in fact stronger than Shang Tsung, so I'll pin him right here. He's not as strong as a healthy Quan Chi, but it's still comparable. Pin him here. Uh, Kung Lao goes above her, but he loses. <clears throat> but the Shang Tsung, he didn't absorb them yet, but so they're not better than uh, Lore Bihan. They're not. Let me get the zero right. I'll put Zero above. Let me see. Clone Zero goes right here. Regular Zero will go right. Yeah. I don't got Zero be, go nuts to a certain. He might. I'm not really sure. But uh, we're going to come back and check all. Oh, shit. We got Ermac. Ermac doesn't beat Sub Zero. But he can beat. No, he doesn't beat Shang Tsung. I'm sorry. Shang Tsung exhorts so. so. Go with the Hakashu. Hakashu people were no fucking joke. Uh, I want to pick them maybe above Bihan to a slightly. Why the fuck do I got two Yashiro's? And I think Chris goes above him. I'll pick these niggas here. Uh, nope. Now, can they beat Chris? I'm not sure. I'm. I, Let me see. Okay, so. We, we got Shiro's a meathead, but I don't got any of them beating Brian. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And then this Kyle Kusanagi is just blood luster. He's probably not as refined as them, but they would still lose to the fucking clones. So uh, I want to pick maybe pit Chris here. Nah, I'll keep the Yaku shoes right there. I, I just don't see them beating. Ooh. Yeah, I do. I, I do. If if they work together, um, separate, separate, nah. They're not beat no fucking. I'll put Rugal above Shine. I think Chris is the strongest one. If I've been told. Base Chris. Um, okay, so this is the thing about dumb stealing invitations from the United States sports team. The United States sports team are actually, I would pick them in World Warriors or Great Fighters. However, 
regular Chris num fucks them up. I don't got um I got them killing them jack bots, but uh I'm not really sure if they're above Goro. Cause I know that amp from that of uh, a little cheap power. Amps nigga, so I'm just gonna take him off. Nina, I know she's good. Can she beat Goro? I don't I'm I'm not really sure. Can she beat Melina? Yes, I could believe that, but I don't got her getting pissed. Um yeah, Onaga. Uh, let me see. He can brush off Raiden and the attacks. And I mean, actually brush that shit off like it's nothing. So he should be around two tiers higher. About two, two to three times higher. Uh, him versus Gil. Gil was able to one shot Oni. Meaning, but I know Oni can fight Onaga to a certain level. I'll pit him over here. Dragon King, uh, he might be stronger than a world. Nah, because we're not gonna fight too, but yeah. I wanna pick double. L listen, I, I don't give a fuck who this pisses off. And okay, so let's review this shit. Um, let's start from the bottom to make sure I ain't fucking nothing up. Uh, yes, yes. Reptiles is still above. Reptile is better than Baraka, but not by much. I don't got to be big at all with them sticks. <laughs> Solomon gonna fuck them up. Uh, we get to Brian, and um, no, we get to uh, Otaro. I don't believe he's that good, so that's why I just put him here. I put Chris with the coat above them. Uh, but behind base Rugal and Krauser, Krizzit with his coat off, power suit fully going, then we get the Scorpion, I got Scorpion beating these fucking peons, I'm sorry, uh, okay, if I was to do a composite Scorpion, composite Scorpion would go above Quan Chi, yes he would. If I was to do two versions of Scorpion, because I always considered Scorpion a villain, one would be behind Bihan and one would be in front of him. Uh, I got Scorpion killing Brian for several reasons. Um, shit. Uh, okay, and whoa, wait, 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 let's see. Uh, Waking Rugal might be comparable to him, but then on a the story, the current is stronger and shit. Rugal would beat Kyo, not the clone one at all, um, cause I believe he's Ant, Ryu, or maybe right there, I mean, the hand takes 30 people to beat him, then we hit, uh, Clone Zero, and I'm not sure if Clone Zero is above Mukai, so, I'm not sure, but, um, but I know Hayaki smashes everyone. Everyone under this, Hayaki is gonna smash. Uh, the devil parts may be a little stronger, a little more than I'm giving credit for. But then again, Base Akuma fought them in the game, so I'm not really sure how strong he's really gonna pick them. Cause I know Kazuya can beat Shinnok, fuck him up. I know Kazuya can beat Shao Kahn. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but they just can't beat Akuma in his base form. That's not happening. Um, if I'm wrong, please in the comments fucking correct me. Ooh, um, okay, so I would have two gills, but I don't. Uh, Udon Gill is just fucking strong, man. I'm, 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 I'm hope it's just, yeah, like. Udon Gale is just something. I'm sorry. Like, Ultra Ultimate Dog. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little segment. I'm going to see you out. Um, I want to take a picture of this. This. But yeah, uh, that's about it for now. Oh, shit. Bonus round. Bonus round. Dun, 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 dun. Hold up.
All right, uh, bonus round, bonus round, bonus fucking round. Let's get into it, guys. So, uh, okay, so Dark Shine. Okay, we're gonna go with Gotetsu. Gotetsu was able to beat Suryu. And a lot of these characters are in C Ryu's range. And I wanna pit him here. C Ryu might be as strong as Hayachi. Let's look that up. Let me see, he was effortless to be able to defeat someone like this. Seven C come on now with the bullshit. Uh male casually lift half the stadium. No, he does not stadium no that's a town. Gotta stand on Yeah, so he's where Brian is at, right? C kinda in a sense, right? He was able to effort effortless knock someone down like Brian. And he's very fucking big and strong. He was able to punch a hole through the fucking stadium with little to no effort. Uh, he might be a bit behind. Because I know Akuma can punch an island with all his strength and shatter that. So, this nigga is no fucking joke. Go to... Boy! Hold up. Uh, uh, let me look into this. Okay. The moment everything... Let me see. Come on with this bullshit. I don't care. Uh, damn. Uh, let me see. Powers and abilities. Superhuman. Master of martial artists. Let me see. So, uh, let me see. Identify a bunch of guns. He's writing that he's not looking at him. Monster cells. Longevity. Air manipulation. Shock waves. City level. Dealing with witness an all out battle between Dark Shine and Super Apple Carnage. Damn. <laughs> believe that Gotessu was more powerful than him. Possibly island level. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, he might be where base Akuma is. Or well, a little bit stronger. You see, um, I have to find Fast that's the new one shot it. Geno flipping some three. So we used to get all about the X Banks. Striking the city. This casual punch was able to see shopping to an enormous hole. City level of life. My fucking god. This nigga is not to be fucking good. You might be maybe at the latter end of this. The latter end. The latter end. Because C. Ryu would be up in here. He would have a hard time with these guys here but Shao Kahn and them don't got no fucking islands striking shit he would have to power up a bit to fight him um let me go ahead to carnage Kabu to, oh I don't got the carnage for him Deep Sea King I got this myself Deep Sea King can beat Goro um he might be just a bit above Goro but he would lose <laughs> a lot of these guys <laughs> I would have been Deep Sea King. Because I think Perry Perry President can bang Goro in his shit. And Goro would feel it. I know Goro would feel it. Perry Perry President cramming his shit in. So stop the cat. Um, he wouldn't beat Krauser. He wouldn't beat. Um, I'll pit him right here. He wouldn't beat anyone up here. Now he gets a little power boost now. Hockey. Now he's just a big fucking monster. Shang Tsung would have a hard time with him. Uh, but I think these guys. See, I believe Genos. Genos is between these guys. Yeah. Genos was in his shit. He's probably behind Chris. Because I got Chris and Yashiro whopping his shit. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, do I think he can beat Brian physically? Yeah. Brian would be above Shermie. Scorpion would be behind 
her. She wouldn't be behind shit. Soon. My bad. Uh, she probably fucked Quan Chi up. But yeah, uh, let me see. Bihan should be above him. Yeah, so. He should be here. He should be able to fuck with him. If, if we think about those, like, that guy with the explosive shoes, he should be over here. Great fire world war. He, he wouldn't be necessarily be Goro in them. Stinger might be here. But alright, moving on. Super Aloe Dark Shine beat. And he's got enhanced durability. He would beat Gotetsu. Eventually? Maybe? Because I know if this nigga loses his um I'll put him above it. Uh, he might. Yeah. Dark Shine might be up there with that girl, man. And he can't get hurt. Uh, so we're just gonna say composite him. Uh, he's not above Gotetsu. He would be here. He would be here. Oh. Where cool is. Corrupted Shinnok is not that good either. He got his ass whomped. Uh He might be a, maybe a bit above Shao Kahn, maybe. But then Shao Kahn be Cassie, so. Yab it. Yab it. Yab it. Let me see. Rating should be a low or tier below him. Um. Going Tense is powerful, but I don't got him beating Raiden. And I got Zero being here. Right next to Raiden. Take them out to tier. Shinnok uh, should be a tier below. Maybe above Raiden, but if Raiden. Cause I don't got Raiden beating Mukai for some fucking reason. I don't. Then again, I do. Um. Yeah, uh, I wish I had Carnage Kabuto, but comp if, if, if I was just to say composite and, and if he transforms, right? Uh, he's nowhere near Gotetsu. So these niggas are comparable to each other. Uh, yeah, that makes him higher. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah. Hell, I'll even pick him above. Okay. Until he transform. Because I... I know Kazuya. I bet Jen is over top of Kazuya. I know they can take his punctures and shit. And all of that. He's no better than Ogre. Uh, I got him beating Shao Kahn. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Carnage form is going to be up here. And that shit is no fucking joke. Uh, he can beat Corrupted Shinnok bum ass. Alright, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if it's not 100% accurate. But uh, also, do I really need to speak why people can't beat him? But yeah, guys. If you enjoyed this thing, like and subscribe.